Hi there, my bee lovers. We're back with another bee review, and this time again from the Netherlands, we have the Boerslutel. And a lot of people do like the Boerslutel. They have a huge fan base. These guys. Congratulations! Hydrogen Hero. It's a smoked Imperial Stout. Your beech woods smoked Imperial Stout even. Huh? Coming in at 12% ABV. It's okay. We're gonna crack it open. Wow! And again, take a look at it. Ah. And especially taste it. Oh yeah. Okay, it's a 440 milliliter can. And I'm expecting again a thick, full, quite boozy. I am hoping not too sweet, stout, but these guys make awesome, awesome beers. And the labels, look at this guys. The labels are also all the time, really, top of the bill. Okay, look at this, guys. It had a one finger head to it. It is jet black. No doubt about that. It will be thick and creamy. You can see it immediately. Um, the smoked part, we will see. Um, I'm hoping it is not too smoked, like an ashtray. I don't want to drink an ashtray. Okay, <laughs> cheers, guys. <coughs> I do get the smokiness. It feels like it smells like barrel aged, but this one is not barrel aged. It will be the smokiness like the bacon. Okay, we're gonna dive in. Cheers, guys. It's smoked. It is really smoked. Slight too much, in my opinion, the smokiness on the beer. Oh shit. You still get your coffee, your chocolate, slight caramel, your molasses, all these things. Dried fruits, spicy, cookie. It's thick, it's creamy, it's full. But it's not really in balance because it's way too smoked, in my opinion. I'm gonna try it again. Maybe if it warms up a little bit more, it's still 12% ABV. It's sitting in my hallway. It's gonna be like, yeah, maybe now 80 degrees or something. Maybe if it warms up. The smokiness will be gone. I don't think so. <laughs> so to make a long story short guys, too smoky. It is way too smoky. Like a little bit bacon but more than smokiness to it. The other ingredients are more on the back now. I don't like that. Unbalanced beers. And this feels like an unbalanced beer. Oh no! Um, I would like to see more of the coffee beans, the coffee. Like the chocolate or the caramel or the vanilla, like those things, that licorice or that umami or that lactose to it, or these all these things like the dried fruits. It's really hard to get it now because it's so smoky. I wouldn't recommend buying this. Oh my gosh. And that's the first time, one of the first times I would say this about the Moose Little because of their huge fan base. And I'm quite curious what other people would say about this one. Mm. I'm gonna check it out now, soon, um, when I add this review, of course. So for me, a rating, um, <clears throat> this is hard. Six and a half. No! Um, I'm sorry, but this will be like six and a half to seven, maybe, out of ten. Ow. And that's not my common thing to do. So the bush little, I'm really sorry. But I gotta be honest in my reviews, and I do it all the time. Hell yeah. So, thanks for watching, and don't forget, a beer day keeps up to the way. Cheers.